Good morning. See, so you find me in my car this morning because I have got a very, very exciting day that I wanted to film. So this is the last time you're going to see the interior of my Corsa because today I only went and got a new car. I only went and got a new car. So I am off to pick that up this morning. So I'm very excited because I have been wanting a new car for a while, especially because I haven't had aircon and the heat wave in the UK absolutely killed me. Like it was horrible. So yeah, I'm going to pick that up and probably give you a little bit of an inside tour of the car. Not a proper one because if I did a proper one, I'd do one like the last one I did. Um, but yeah, so I want to show you what my car inside looks like the minute. So I've took my dash cam out of the car, so that's the wires and then the dash cam there. But there's one wire left, which is literally behind the glove compartment there. And we couldn't get it out because it's too tight. So either the garage is going to have to take it out for me, or I'm just going to have to say, you've got the wires, do whatever you want. So yeah, that's pretty much what the car's like at the minute. And I know people have been asking, when are you doing the braces video? When are you doing the braces video? Uh, probably not for a while just because now I've got a car which was to me more of a priority because I've got to pay this off and yeah I've had lots of other things happening I've had to get a new job I'm in the process of moving which I will hopefully try and fit some videos of that in um, and show you like the process of that so I've not even had a chance to sort that out. So for people that are asking, I'm glad that you want to watch my content, but please just be patient. It probably won't be yet. Um, it might not be for a few years now. Um, I am going back to the dentist at the end of this month, so I may book an appointment in when I go back, but we, we shall see. But that is basically that. Um, and I also finally got a PS5. I never thought this day would would happen, but it, it finally happened. So... I'm going to talk about some of the games that I've started playing later on in the video and be prepared for a PS5 collection video but with the speed of the games at the minute that probably won't be for a few years at least so that is a little update come and join me on my journey today of buying my new car so it's many hours later I was going to film a video earlier of like the car and everything I just got so distracted but yeah I will give you a little tour now here we are, I've gone for a Ford Fiesta and it's got an integrated screen. I did have my phone connected, but filming on my phone at the minute. But it's got everything in there. Aircon and main thing. Nice little area here where I can put my phone. USB and then USB. And it's so nice and clean and it's got back doors. Yeah, so that's like a little tour of the car but i've just been out and about in it really getting used to the car and it's such a nice car to drive like i love it and think it was definitely the right decision been a few days now so what i thought i would do is do a house tour because it's all really tidy now um apart from a few bits so i thought it'd be the perfect time to show you around so let's begin so this is the main bit this is still needing pro my work in progress but we go in to this door and this is the like main living room so this is my sofa if you've watched my vlogs this is like my sofa from my flat and um, we got some cushions for this we've got like a little area here which i actually really love uh, we've got the tv there which again is my tv i've put some of my pictures and stuff up on there and one of chris's pictures and then we've just got a little area and i've put my rug and the coffee table there sofa bookshelf and then here we've got the mirror and the shelf with just like little bits on this is the kitchen again this is oh, excuse the mess on here but we've got a little shelf here with bits on and we bought a clock for this wall we did get a different design but the clock we got didn't work so we had to get a different style but it still looks good then my shelves here look and all my gaming things in this little corner then this sofa was where the cream sofa was we've just put it in this window just thought it'd be a nice little place to have as a seating area and then it's just yeah your standard kitchen here 
So this is the back door, but we haven't got steps on there yet. So we don't really use it going in and out because it's too high. And then down here, goes into the basement, but the basement is not ready at all. So yeah, we don't need to show that yet. But I will show you that when it's all done, because we're going to hopefully put that into a gaming room. Okay, so heading upstairs. We still need a banister on the stairs. But window. Got the bathroom in here. This is the spare room, which is still a little bit of upside down, but not too much. But I've still had to put things in here that I haven't got a place yet. But yeah, this is the view from the garden. Which we do have a really big garden. We've just put my old wardrobe in, sort some stuff around, but it's starting to look more like a bedroom. And we've got the office in here. Hi. Where you tend to spend most of your time. <laughs> a lot of the time, not all of it. What are you doing? At the minute, I'm just looking at some more JavaScript stuff. Getting into his coding now. <laughs> he finds new hobbies. <laughs> I do. So, would you like to explain a bit of the renovation progress to the blog? Because obviously you did all the reno stuff. Um, so they've got an idea of what it was before. Yeah, so... Effectively, when I bought it, it, it would have been livable, and I made the decision to make it not livable. Um, so we ended up completely gutting uh, the kitchen or where the kitchen diner is now and uh, knocked one of the walls through We've got two RSJs in there at the minute um, once most of that was done the messy work to be fair we completely gutted the bathroom as well so that had no flushing water for quite some time so we used the old-fashioned method of buckets down the water, which was fun. Um, but I remember coming to see it when it was still pretty much a building site. Yeah, it was completely back to brickwork. If you want, I'll have a look, see if I can find the photos on my phone and then you can stick it into your Yeah, because the um, kitchen looks okay. completely different because it was two um, different rooms, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a little, I suppose you'd call it a little, you'd call it a pantry. It, it was, I don't even know what you'd call it. Um, but they, they effectively used it as a utility room, yeah. Um, but it, it wasn't big enough to serve as a kitchen. Um, and before I bought it, the basement was the main kitchen. I've not been down there yet, because it's so messy down now, there. Yeah, it's more like a bomb site, as opposed to a room. Um, so I've already started to take part of the um, like ceiling down from that. Eventually that's going to be completely gutted. Um, make sure it's all watertight, which to be fair, I think it is at the minute. Um, we should have stayed down there when it was really hot because it was nice and cool. Um, but yeah, I think we're hopefully eventually going to move that into a kind of gaming yeah. chill area, yeah, yeah chill some area. bags console. Because we the problem is, is we've got consoles double of everything, so we've each got a PS4, we've both got PS3s. We both got a Wii, we both got a PS5, so it's kind of like the space yeah. <laughs> is hard at the minute. Yeah. And there's one Nintendo Switch, so if we put them all in the basement mm. and sort of just plug them in, leave them there. I also inherited two DS's from somewhere. Yeah, and I've got two DS's of mine. Well, that's the house tour pretty much. Um, I will do updates because it's not fully finished. We've still got the painting on the landing stairs to do because we only really did like one proper coat of that and it's just like genuine white so we need to do that again the bedroom needs finishing um 
And then the basement needs doing. I still need to paint the doors up here. And the doors need painting upstairs, and like glossing. The, um, top of the banister bit. So the there's still like bits where you might see in a, a video going, oh, it doesn't look fully finished. It isn't. Like when I met Chris, this the progress from a year is amazing. I need to find the pictures of when we were sort of living here last year. Well, I was sort of sporadically living between two places. There was no carpet in the living room so we got all the furniture in with no carpet there was again bits that needed painting it was the amount of progress that's been done in a year is amazing so again in probably like six months time i might do an update video if we've got anything else done because we are trying to get it done and finished so this fully done and then you can fully relax and then focus on other things yeah. Um, but yeah, I am like properly living here now. Um, but I've still got the flat for another like two weeks until I've got to move out and there's still things there that need moving. So I might go over and show you like, it's pretty much empty and sort of show you what's happened and stuff. I've just got kitchen things really that need bringing over here, but everything else is pretty much here now. So that's good. I don't have to keep going backwards and forwards. Um, I know in the last clip I said I was going to talk about PS5 games or that I've been enjoying so I thought I would put that in this section of the video. So I do have a physical copy but I'm not sure where it got put because people were here yesterday and I'm not sure unless it's in the drawer down here. Let's have a look. I do it's here right so I got the new Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on PS5 because this was one of the only games that was PS5 exclusive that I wanted to play um amazing game like the last Ratchet and Clank on PS4 I platinumed so really enjoyable I haven't platinumed this yet a lot of the sort of fighting and stuff was actually really tricky but it was a great storyline and i like that you could play as a new wombat as well so there was two and you kept the rift apart you kept rifting between two different like um timelines and worlds and stuff so it was really enjoyable the graphics are incredible on ps5 like i didn't think i'd noticed it that much but yeah you can really tell it's an upgrade from the ps4 I love how with the controller as well, a lot of the little sounds come through. So if you if you sort of swipe something or you hit something or pick something up, all the little sounds come through the controller, which is really cool. It didn't happen too much on PS4, only on a few games. But I've noticed that that's like really common in the PS5 at the minute. Um, I've just, I played the Astros Playroom because that came installed free. Um, I'd already played a little bit of that on someone else's PS5, but that was a great experience as well, sort of using all the controller little bits and blowing on it and making things move. So yeah, that was really cool. Um, I um, played Plague Tale, which I, have, which I started on PS4, um, and this was a game that I actually didn't expect to like, um, but I got it because it was free on the demo. Um, and then it was really cheap in the summer sale, I think it was like £8.50 and it only came out in 2019 so it's still quite a current game um, but oh my gosh this game was amazing like the storyline, the gameplay, like it played so smoothly the graphics, even for the PS4 version, the graphics were amazing it, it was just, yeah, the the whole thing and it was a game that you had to play completely in stealth which I am not good at stealth, but because it was a stealth game, it kind of made it a bit easier because you had to do it like that. I mean, I died a lot, but I learned how to be better at stealth. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy Plague Tale. It is on PS5 as well, so if you do want to play that, um, I do recommend that. And the new one is coming out in October, so I'm ready for that one. I have pre-ordered it ready. And I started the game Stray, which I don't know it's not grabbing me I've not finished it yet and it's only like a three hour game it's just odd like it's cute like don't get me wrong it's a cat but the whole thing to me just seems a bit weird and a bit pointless and it didn't grab me like I thought it was going to be but it, it wasn't the game that I, I thought it was going to be to be honest it was completely different to what I expected 
I am going to finish it because like I say it's short and I want to finish it. I want to see sort of where they go with it. I'm, I'm sort of curious about it. And everyone's been raving about it online. And I just haven't, I haven't got the same enthusiasm for this game. Um, doesn't mean that it's a bad game at all. Like looks wise, it looks amazing and like how you play is incredible. It just isn't for me. Unfortunately, it's just one of those where I just think, eh. I think if I wasn't on PS Plus and I paid for this, I probably would have been disappointed, um, especially with how short it is. It's just, I don't know, it's just very strange. It's probably just not to my taste. 